Hey everybody, this is that German guy Josh Ronquist and I'm here with John from Halcyon Way, who's here in my old stomping grounds of Turtle Lake, Wisconsin at the St. Croix Casino, opening for Queensryche and Maisel. How's it going? Good, man. How's it going here? I'm doing great. Uh, it's uh, great to be seeing you guys again. I first caught you guys back in September down in Prague Power when you guys were the first man opening up Prague Power. And, cool. Uh, it's cool. awesome because uh, I live in Minnesota, but now I'm back in my old stopping grounds where I grew up, seeing you guys just 10 minutes from where I used to live. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we were, we were kind of pulling in, and, we were, and of course we don't know the area, so we're like, man, where the heck are we? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't feel bad. I felt... I felt that way for about 23 years before I moved, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're like, what, an hour from Minneapolis or something uh, right like that? Right about, uh, yeah. I'm, right now, I'm about 15 minutes away from Minneapolis, so yeah, it was about an hour, hour and a half drive. To, gotcha. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. It's not, not too far. Yeah, not too bad. So, so how's the tour been so far? It's been really, really good. Um, shows have been really well attended. Um, you know, I've told people, um, when we got booked for this tour, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe we're going on the road with Queensryche, because they're my favorite band. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was like, man, you know, I hope, I was kind of thinking to myself, man, I, I hope they're I hope they not dicks. <laughs> 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 and they have been super, super cool. I mean, we consider them, like, good friends now, and we just had a really good time. It's just it's been a really good run. It's been well, well received by the crowds. It's been a, a good match for us, just stylistically. The crowds have pretty much gotten what we do, and you know, so we're really, really digging it. Oh, awesome! I, I hope that'll be the same thing tonight. I, I know it's really like Wisconsin isn't usually a map that people go go to for metal, so hopefully it'll be a good reaction here tonight. Yeah, hopefully it'll be a good crowd and everything, but I mean, it seems like a lot of people are driving from Minneapolis or whatever because it's the closest show. Um, and I mean, like, last night we played in Peoria, which is, um, I want to say it's a couple hours outside of Chicago or something, mm -hmm. and there was a huge crowd there. I mean, it was a really big crowd, and it was rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Uh, so when it comes to shows and, you know, my uh, prior experience of seeing you guys in Prague Power back in September, mm -hmm. uh, how does it compare going on a tour with Queensryche to doing a, a one-off festival like Prague Power? Um, well, it's it's definitely a different mindset because you do a one-off show and you rehearse up for that one show and you rehearse that set list over and over again and you get on stage and you're not, you, you're not really, like, necessarily dialed in. When you go out on a tour you spend the first couple nights kind of f getting your footing, you know, just figuring out, because um, there's so many moving parts behind the scenes when you're on a tour, you know, it's like, okay, when do we show up, when do they want our gear to come in and sit on the floor, when do we sound check, when do we do this, you know, you, you kind of learn all those moving parts. Mm -hmm. So the first couple nights of it are always a little, little rocky, not in the sense of how you play, but just in the flow of it, and kind of mentally. But once everything gets dialed in a few days into the tour, then um, you know you kind of you kind of hit your stride, and you get really well oiled, and you know okay well at this part you know he's gonna do that and I'm gonna move out of the way and yeah you know, just stuff like that and you just really get a like a good rhythm going. So we feel like right now we're like firing on all cylinders and just you know it's just a diff kind of a different vibe. Oh, it's fantastic to hear. Uh, so uh, what? When it comes to opening for this this tour, are, are you guys sticking to the same set that you're doing, or are you switching anything up? We've uh, switched out a few songs. We've got kind of like a, a rotation of a few that we felt like could work, and we have one that we have kind of ready, but we're not really sure it's going to come across as strong as some of the other stuff. But yeah, we're rotating in and out a couple songs. We've got some core ones that we're doing, and then you know a couple that we're kind of trading out. Oh, cool. Oh, but that said, is there uh, any new material that's going to be coming out soon? Yeah, when we, well, coming out soon, maybe, but um, when we get home from the tour, our immediate plan is to go back to the, you know, get back in the studio and start, continue writing our next record. We've got about 10 songs kind of roughed out, and we started pre-production actually a couple weeks before we, um, we left. Um, and normally the way that our flow starts is that I, I write a lot of riffs, I write a lot of stuff, that's kind of what I do, mm -hmm. so I'll... I'll program out some drums and Pro Tools and like record the guitar tracks and just you know flesh out a song. Then Steve and I will get together. We'll do like two three days in a row of vocals, and we'll just flesh out like choruses and you know 
we'll, we'll pretty much start with the chorus of a song. If the chorus is super catchy, then it stays. If the chorus sucks, then the song gets killed or it gets reworked entirely or whatever. Um, but anyway, we've got about 10 songs that were kind of in the works and we're going to probably write five to seven more, weed out the week, and then um, the plan right now is to go track probably drums in like June. Um, we have some time kind of tentatively, tentatively booked with Lassa Lambert, who's done, he's mixed and engineered or something on all four of our albums. So we're going to go to Germany and track that. And that's the plan at this point. But if we, you know, another tour comes up or whatever, then we'll shuffle the schedule around accordingly. Oh, very much so. Uh, so would it be too early to say about like what the style of the next album is going to be yet? I mean, is there like a vibe for the songs that you have already? Yeah, I think it's, um, I mean, with Conquer, what we did is we, we kind of decided early on in that process, we were like, all right, let's figure out what we feel like we're really good at, and then let's focus really clearly on that. So, you know, we felt like we were really good at super catchy choruses, felt like we were really good at writing heavy riffs and, you know, kind of just meshing all of that together. And so what we did is we really focused on that stuff and um, just tried to cut out the fat. So we, it resulted in shorter songs that weren't all these wanky prog passages, which are cool, but that's not what we wanted to do. If we did one, it was quick. Um, and I think we're just going to kind of continue down that path and just see where we get. I mean, we want it to be a very heavy album. Um, we feel like we've gotten heavier and heavier as we've progressed in our career. And, um, you know, so I think what we're going to do is catchy hooks, you know, big choruses, anthems, and just some, some really gnarly, nasty riffs. <laughs> well, that's great to hear. And that's what I really loved about the last album, too, is that great mix of it being heavy and catchy, proggy in the right moments, brutal in the right moments. It's just like it felt, I don't want to say commercial, but it just like it felt like it could be on the radio if a station was willing to give it a chance, like in Top 40 Radio. Yeah, yeah, that's the way we look at it. I mean, Steve comes from a hard rock background, so, you know, when he was coming up as a singer, you know, he's listening to, I mean, if you name a hair band, <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, I totally rocked their third album, brah. <laughs> like, we were talking about XYZ the other day, and I'm like, barely even remember that band. <laughs> he's like, no, face down in the gutter. No, I mean, so, I mean, we, we, we got a conversation yesterday at the show with the dude wearing a Pretty Boy Floyd shirt on. So, you know, he comes from that background. Um, I'm a huge King's X, Black the Cowboys fan. So, Me too. You know, I love all those big stacked up vocal harmonies. Mm -hmm. And then I came up, um, you know, as a guitarist, you know, learn, trying to learn Testament and Exodus and Megadeth and stuff like that. So, um, you know, you kind of bundle all that stuff up. And then, we, of course, we have, like, some newer influences, like, you know, Kill Switch Engage or All the Remains or Chimera or... Whitechapel or whatever so we dig all these different things and we feel like we can we feel like we're we feel like what really what we're best at is songwriting and we feel like we can pretty seamlessly melt you know meld all of these different drastically different influences into something cohesive and cool and that's what we try to do yeah and you guys are doing it so well too because it's like when I first discovered you guys it's like I was hearing all those different elements of styles that I love but it it felt like it just fits so perfectly together with the way that you guys are doing it. And cool. I love seeing that it's going to be a continuation for you guys. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's very natural to write like that because, you know, we're very much about the hook. It's got to be catchy. It's got to be something you're going to sing in the car or an earworm that you're going to have stuck in your head for days and days. That's, that's what we're about. But I don't write riffs like, I don't know dude from Poison or whatever. I mean, I don't know. It's just not what I do. I mean, I write heavy, complicated riffs, but they got to be accessible, too. They can't, you can't, I feel like you can't crawl up your own butt so far that nobody can get what you're doing. <laughs> oh, very much so. And again, you guys are doing it so very well, and I'm, I'm glad to see how much you guys are getting in popularity, too, and I can see it with the next album. It's going to be even bigger and better from here. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I mean, the, Conquer did did really well. It hit Billboard the week of release. That was pretty awesome. And um, it it actually did get picked up on um, the Hard Rock Radio whatever. Mm -hmm. on the, it, it was on the in the CMJ Top 10 for about six weeks, yeah. which we were like, we can't believe this. <laughs> so that was, that was super cool. But we have a, a really good team of 
you know, like the the publicists and that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna be like, hey, we're back. We're like herpes. Can't get rid of us. <laughs> <laughs> But unlike Herpes, I'm really looking forward to the next time it comes around. <laughs> Our new album's going to come with Valtrex. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, with it just being the beginning of 2016, was there any albums that came out last year that you were digging, or any albums that are coming out this year that you're looking forward to? Um, well, my two biggest albums I listened to the most in 2015 actually came out late 14. It was um, the new Engel album, um, uh, Raven Kings. And then the new raunchy album, uh, Virtues, Vices, Visions. Oh, yes. And I wore those two albums out, and I still do love those bands. Raunchy is so underrated. Oh, my God, yeah. Um, I, I've actually got one of their shirts in my uh, suitcase, and like three or four days in the tour, a dude was like, dude, do you know who they are? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out the guy had run merch for them in Denmark at one point or something. It was pretty funny. Nice. Um, but, yeah, love those those two albums. Um, the new Skindred I really like because I really love that band. They're, they're, I feel like they're, they don't sound anything like we do, but I feel like they m- meld all of these different styles into something really cohesive mm-hmm. and with really well-written songs. Like, they're, they're into, like, you know, house and reggae and, you know, metal and hard rock and, you know, just whatever, and even a little bit of death metal <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. And... So I really love that band. Um, some other stuff in uh, came out in fifteen. I mean, the new Queens are Ike's really good. Um, the uh, new Trivium I really like. Um, felt like it was a really well written album. Um, just picked up the new Megadeth. I've only gotten to listen to it twice, but it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah. There's a new Anthrax coming out. New Metal Church coming out. Oh yes. I mean, it's going to be a good year for metal. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Well, uh, sadly, I do have to cut it short. I mean, there's so much more I'd love to talk to you for hours, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you guys here playing in Wisconsin and uh, hopefully again in Minnesota sometime soon. Yeah, that'd be cool. If you guys get on the right tour. Thank you for taking the time to do this interview. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, uh, Before we wrap things up, is there anything else you'd like to bring up that I haven't brought up yet? Nah, just uh, want to tell the fans we appreciate the support. Thanks for coming out to the shows and buying the merch and all that stuff helps us continue to tour and um yeah just spread the word tell your friends about us um that's really the the best thing there's so much clutter on the internet that you know it's like people say it's the best thing ever for bands but it's also the worst thing ever because for every one good band there's 99 bands that really suck (laughs) so um yeah hopefully we're not one of the 99 (laughs) no definitely not (laughs) but yeah yeah, we just appreciate the support. Oh, absolutely. But like I keep saying, it was an honor to be able to see you guys at Proc Power, and it's an honor to be able to talk to you here 10 miles away from my hometown, and I can't <laughs> wait to see you guys in just a couple hours. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Oh, not a problem. That was John from Helsing Way. Make sure to check out Helsing Way and all your favorite social media sites, and look forward to the new album when it drops. Yeah. This is that drummer guy, Josh Ronquist. Thank you. <laughs>